Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to another episode of Palladia Plays. Now, last we left our hero, he had fallen asleep. Let's just continue. You felt like you had a strange dream. It's about time to go to school. Yo, man, I'm so sleepy today. No, that's awful. I don't even want to try. I'm so sorry. <laughs> In times like these, it's best to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? No. I don't sleep in class. <laughs> you heard me, kids. Don't sleep in class. What? Why do you have to be all serious? That feeling of being completely recharged is awesome, but I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. Oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Ikoda, which is way too close to Ikoda. Ahem, I'm Mr. Okoda, I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. Students, you're the teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. You know what, in this situation, I might do that, but no, I'm gonna stay away. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, children, now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is... Issei Montagari, The Origin of Japanese Literature. It's a very interesting story. Youngsters might call it the bomb. Could you please not try to talk like that anymore? I'd appreciate that. Dots. Sorry. <sighs> I could tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Your academics has increased. Yay, go me. I got a little smacker. You decided to go home with Junpei. Paulonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs, too. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. The station is bustling with students on their way home. At our school evening. Welcome back. Thank you, Mitsuru. It might be nice to read a book by Moonlight once in a while. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? Excuse me. What will you do? I will save. Save completed. Thank you. Much appreciated. Mitsuru. These network computers were installed when the dorm was built. Their main purpose is to send the school reports about daily life here in the dorm. Okay. Well, that's a thing. You guy. They used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking, but there's just us students here. It'd be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? You're right. I mean, I'm not a good cook, and Mitsuru Senpai just doesn't do things like that. It's like a treasure vault full of money we can't spend. <laughs> TV, what do you tell me? You turned on the television. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Okay, now that's actually a throwback if you guys don't know. In Persona 1, you had the Fountain Fairy whose name was Trish. She healed you for a price, and I think her price has fluctuated basically depending on however she felt. Who's who? Today's subject is a very dependable looking 20 year old woman. Her sister is a camera woman, and I've heard she got her camera from her master. Next is news. Pain, pain, go away. See there, that's what she said to you. Bravo, bravo. Thank you for that throwback. I appreciate it. That it? Do I have to pee again? I'm gonna go pee again. It's the men's restroom. Go in! Don't judge me, guys. I have a weak bladder. Actually, when you consider that's once a day, <laughs> you feel normal. Well, that's. It's almost like it's disappointing. You feel normal. Alright, the thing I'm going to do here is configure. I had auto text on. See this? <clears throat> now it's off. So now I can actually talk when they're talking. Not when they're talking, but after they talk. So I can actually get a word in edgewise when they're doing things. Alright, swerve. You're tired today. You should go to bed early. I'm going. I'm going. Good lord. Hello, vacant room. Will you go back to your room? No, sure, why not? Go back. Actually, this is where the fun starts. You feel tired, you should get some rest. But I just. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll click on the bed. Let me take that extra step. You're tired today, you should go to bed early. Peace. In the midnight hour. I'm done, I'm so sorry. At a certain room in the dormitory. How is he? The same as last night. 
An emergency call from outside rang through the room. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. That's what she said. I don't have time to talk. <laughs> it's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. I'm all right. <laughs> Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Uh, what the? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! Holla ass, kiddo! You just had to go take a look. Do nothing. You know what? Forget it. The building's shaking up your gill. I'm going back to sleep. Go take a look. Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now! How did you get dressed in like two seconds? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's just go. Hurry, just go. We'll lead through the back door. Wait, take this, just in case. What is she doing, just randomly carrying around a storm? Guns, swords. She's in the archery club, but she's a one-woman armory. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? <laughs> yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. Second floor. What was that? It's getting closer. Keep moving. Hurry. Dormitory rooftop. Oh, the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Yeah, <laughs> he's funny. You gotta be kidding me! He climbed up the wall. It's Spider Shadow. What do you expect? There, they're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh, yeah. I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Here goes. <laughs> Seriously, this is not a natural line of thinking, okay? I mean, obviously he had to do this, but still, it's like, hey, let's put this to my head and pull the trigger.
on earth was that? The sudden swell of power has subsided. Orpheus has been born. You have obtained a new persona. Is it over? Nope. Ah, it's still moving! Piece of the Shadow is heading for Yukari! Get away from me! You have to save her! Now, I'm gonna talk about that scene for a sec before I actually move on to trouncing the crap out of these guys. I think that scene lost a lot of the tension and the pressure that it had from uh, the regular versions, from the Persona 3 and Persona 3 FES. Uh, I realized they had to. They had to, to make this fit onto the PSP system and be playable, but it just didn't have the same impact for me that way. But I also think, and this is important too, I think that P3P is more meant for people who have played the series. So people who know what that scene is supposed to look like, so that losing all of that doesn't hit you as much. Uh, not badly done. I think they did a very good job considering what they had to work with. Anyway, onward! Mass Destruction is playing, by the way. I love this song. I thought I had Augie. Oh well. Smash the crap out of these guys! 62 damage! 6 damage! That's a lot of 6s. Can I do stab you? I'm just gonna stab you. 25. <laughs> what a difference in damage. I never noticed that. <laughs> Alright, Bash. I have to give you credit. But that's actually very clear for a PSP game insofar as uh, graphics go, so I can't complain about that. They did a pretty good job. Bob! You did it, Bob! You did it! And you leveled up! You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle! I'm a slacker. Academic slacker. Charm, blank, courage, timid. I suck. The hit points and spirit points have increased. You're enabled to create a persona up to level 3. I just went up two levels, apparently. Something inside of you has changed. Orpheus! Orpheus is leveled up. Strength increased by 1. Endurance increased by 2. Augie learned. Oh, I forgot to do skill cards in this one, so I could actually use Orpheus the entire game if I wanted. That's actually something I do in Persona 4 Golden a lot. I continue to use Izanagi well past first dungeon and make him into a terrifying monster. Anyway, onward! Dots! Sorry. Are I'll you stop okay? doing that, I promise. Come on! <laughs> Please! Can you hear me? Can Answer I not me! Sleep! Let me sleep, woman. Igor! And Elizabeth. This is the Velvet Room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. Why, thank you, You Igor. became unconscious after awakening to your power. I did. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. Persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Persona, my psyche. I don't get it. <laughs> I, just, I don't get it, Igor, please. Help me. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you. Except you they manifest because hardships. I shot myself in the head. A mask? I don't get it. <laughs> you, you don't get it. You don't get it, Bob. use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, Sausage your links. emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful oh, your personal oh, ability. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I'm done. Remember that. Don't judge me. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Au revoir, Igor. I'll be back. I was out for a week. Almost two weeks. Alright, and with that, I believe I will end the episode. So, uh, thank you guys for joining me today, and I'll be seeing you.